I've recently discovered this ancestry site. It's not a DNA site. It's an an ancestry site that you can learn more about your heritage based on your DNA kit, your DNA samples, your DNA. So I believe they don't do DNA tests here, but if you use any one of the compatible DNA testing sites and you receive a DNA kit, what you can do is to download the DNA kit from those sites and upload it to here. It's called mytrueancestry.com. So they say that they help you take your DNA results a step further, discovering ancient relatives by comparing yourself to thousands of ancient samples from real archaeological sites. Or sample or simple and secure service puts one, 10,000 years of history and around 8 to 5 ancient civilizations from around the world at your fingertip. And then they have an example of what you can get deep dive into your history your ancestral history some historical figures that you may be related to based on something called your haplogroup and where your ancestors may have resided and so forth okay so i'm going to i actually have a subscription I'm going to show you in, in another video how to upload your DNA sample. All right, so log in with Google. I'm in and this is what the interface looks like. I'm currently at level two. Level two is night level. It's called night. They, they have several levels and based on the level that you, based on the level that you are at, you received several features. And if you want more features, you have to unlock new levels by pain. Is it worth it? will decide after we go through it. But based on some reviews, some persons say that they see where or why it's worth it, but it's a ton load of money if you should go to a, say a king level or beyond that to find out, to do a deep, deep dive into your ancestry. And with that, I guess it's worth it in that regard because it gives you valuable is historical information. Okay, so this is what the interface looks like. These are my results. And so you have results, you have civilizations, you have populations. Okay, and they actually do DNA testing as well. DNA testing. All right, so these are the DNA sites that they... they accept kits from so nebula G genomics genomics uh, i think they were close with them dante labs ancestry.com 23andme myheritage.com family tree dna living dna i uploaded my kit from myheritage.com so as i said you may do a dna testing with them they were closely with nebula genomics However, if you've done your DNA test before, you can go ahead and upload it. And I can show you how to get that done. Now, this table, it basically shows you the DNA tests and the type of uh, DNA sample uh, results that they give, whether it's Y DNA or NT DNA. And, uh, you know, the, the rate of the service and how exactly it is done. All right, let's go by here. So as I said, I'm at level two and 
say I want to I'll show you what level 2 entails but say I want to unlock new features or new results right I can go on this right there so level 2 this is what level 2 gives so it starts at level 0 or level 1 I think level 0 is free but level 1 and level 2 you have to pay for them so you get at level 2 you get 40 closed say, samples supports two kits enabling compare features premium maps included partial deep dive results uncover your ancient ancestors and then the next level that i might seek to go is level three which is king it gives you 60 samples and uh, five kits that you can upload and um some other features so you can look at your top five paleo foods and regional archaeogenetics uh, with this um, as you can see it allows you to upload five kits the more kits that you have the greater the pool of information for them uh, primary information or data i should say for them to use to do the research and the comparisons and um, the greater the possibility is that the results will be accurate and this is 19 dollars um yeah, they're always having discounts. <laughs> so 56% discount, $19. Now I'm not going to pay for that. It, it looks enticing, trust me. But if you follow this thing, you'd spend your money off in one day or spend. It goes up to this. So you can get a discount for $770 and this is, this level is called Cartographer. It gets almost everything. And so it will tempt you, it may tempt you to go all this level, go to all these levels. And then this shows you basically what you get at each level. All right, the reason why I said that it can be tempting is based on the information that they've found. Um, I'm going to go into this in another video, but based on the information they've found, based on your DNA and the historical and research content and the archaeological content, it's pretty interesting and you may want to learn more. You're probably going to want to learn more when you say that, oh, you probably are from some royalties way back. You're like, wow. So, um, yeah, that, that, that can be a bit tempting for you to spend your money and I see what they, I see what they do. Um, but basically this is what, uh, my true ancestry.com that you can use to do deep dive in to your DNA. So how is it different from other DNA sites? No. The com commercial DNA sites, they allow you to test your DNA. They may give you matches. They may tell you where, give you an idea of where your ancestors are from based on your dna however this goes into the history historical aspect so they collect samples archaeological samples for example um say mummies bones from mummies or things that they've found and they collect and keep the the dna so when you do your dna test or you upload your dna kit Based on that, you know, they will match your DNA sequence to whatever data they have. And, um, you know, they give you more information. And just like the uh, commercial DNA test, the more persons who sign up for the site or more data that they get, the more accurate your results can be because it's research and it's always a work in progress. Yeah, so that's basically it for this video. Uh, that's mytrueancestry.com. You should definitely check it out. If you have a good budget, I would recommend you, you know, checking out the levels to find information. But they are pretty interesting. My results are pretty interesting. And they are consistent with my DNA results from myheritage.com. For example, myheritage.com says I have Kenyan, uh, Kenyan DNA and uh they give up percent when i upload my dna kit to this site it 
tells me which tribes the exact tribes but unless you unlock certain other levels it's not going to give you details details into it um so that's that's just an example all right so you can check it out and let me know so if you've had concerns about it or if you're curious about it uh i did my research i was searching searching through youtube but i haven't found many videos of persons who have checked out this site or used this site before and i was curious i'm like okay i've been in that position so let me just do it try it out and help somebody else just share this this information for you to use to see what the information looks like and so forth so thank you so much for listening for watching please like comment and subscribe as i said in the next video i'm going to show you how to upload your dna sample how to download it from the dna site testing site and how to upload it here and i'm also going to go into my results thank you so much for watching remember to like comment subscribe until next time i'm amy bye